How long will it take to become successful with your print on demand business? Well, in this video, I want to do a timeline of the steps to create a print on demand business and how long it will actually take to start seeing results. Obviously, this will be different for every single person. However, this is more of an over, like, a, like just a normal, kind of look at what it should be and if you're way off then well something's going wrong well first i want to say i got myself a pen because i'm going to be doing some more drawing on the screen over here so i got myself a pen because you guys said that you wanted me to get a pen and yeah so i've got my timeline here i'm going to talk to you about all of that in this video but before we get started please consider hitting that subscribe button i talk about amazon and quite recently i'm going to start talking now about print on demand businesses because i had a very successful one and i'm even thinking about setting up a new one and one final and i have got an awesome awesome tutorial step by step coming out in just well i want to say a week or a few weeks because it's taken me ages to make and I'm trying to be, make it really, really detailed. So definitely subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you know when I bring out that tutorial because that tutorial is going to be a full on course but put on YouTube for free for you guys. I'm not gonna charge you anything for it and it's gonna be completely timestamped so you can jump straight to the section that you want to go to. So for now, let's have a look at what a timeline looks like. My drawing should be slightly better because, well, I have a pen. So let's do the timeline. The start of our business, okay? Um, over here, let's put in, I'm still learning how to use this stupid pen. Start, okay. Now, what do we have to do first? Well, we have to do research first. So let's put a big arrow here and put in research. We have got to research different t-shirt ideas, right? We have to research different niches because it's, it is hard to become profitable in this business. I'm gonna be honest with you. It is hard because your profit margins aren't that high. So you need to make sure you can charge a good amount of money and it's viral enough that you're going to get a lot of organic views, a lot of organic uh, shares and a lot of organic buys really with your ad. So research is so important. And with research, we're going to be able to use Google. We're going to be able to use Teespring, Printly, Fiverr, all these websites. And again, I'm gonna discuss this in more detail in the actual tutorial, whereas this video is just a timeline. So I would say it will take you about three to five days worth of research. So let's put in over here now, let's say this is, what day is it today? It is the 20th. So let's say it's the 20th of Jan. So here, this is gonna be a really weird shaped timeline. We're going to put in the 25th of Jan. Okay, by this point, I would have wanted you to come up with about five to 10 designs or ideas. Okay, these ideas can be anything. They can be job related. They can be just jokey related. They can be like skiing related. They can be uh, gardener related. They can be anything dog related, cat related, fighting related, uh, trending related. It could be anything. Okay, as long as the design is catchy. Try and make it funny, because funny is always viral. So that's what you want to do. In this, in this time, let me find it, here we go. So here, we want to come up with a design, or 10. 10 designs, okay, five to 10 designs. That's what I want to come up with. This isn't working out very well. I'm going to get myself a better pen. This is a piece of pen. Okay, now, and also I'm working on the tiniest of boards, but thank you very much to my fiance for giving this to me, to let me actually use it, for lending it to me, I should say, so that I can actually try this out. Um, it clearly hasn't worked. <coughs> right, the 25th of Jan. Now let's have a look at what's gonna be next. Well, once we have our design, we have our niche, we have our, well, genre really, we have our like audience, we now need to do a few things. We need to create a Facebook page, so around, Let's say 25th, we want to go, let's do a big arrow here. And we want to do create FB page and Insta page, okay? We want to create a Facebook page and we want to create an Instagram page. Okay, the reason we want to do this is because when we create Facebook ads, we are going to have to run them through a page of some sort, right? We want to we want to create newsfeed ads, and in order to do that, you need to have a Facebook page. So create a niche-specific Facebook page. So if 
if you're targeting, if your t-shirt's going to be about dogs, make a dog page, cats, make a cat page. I know you're going to end up with a lot of pages here, but that is that is the beauty of this game. It, it is a lot of work, but it's definitely a potential, okay? So create yourself a unique page. Now you can create yourself a generic page like t-shirt biz or custom t-shirts. The only issue with that page is it's not as targeted, so your your the, the cost of your ad won't be as cheap and people won't feel as connected to your page as they would if it was just niche specific. Right, once you've done that, you now need to go and design your actual t-shirt. So pick maybe three of them. So let's say between the 25th and the 30th of Jan, okay, I want you to not only create a Facebook page and an Instagram page, but I want you to design tees. Okay, let's do times five. Design five t-shirts, okay? The reason we're designing five t-shirts is because one, it might not work, and two, you can never fall in love with your design. So if it's not working, you have got to move on straight away. Don't fall in love with your, with your design and end up wasting a whole bunch of money on advertising because that's not gonna get you anywhere. Right, once you've designed your t-shirt, you then want to go and actually create it in whatever, whatever platform you're using. So whether it's Printly, Teespring, uh, uh, there's frog shirt, there's a whole bunch of them, okay? So let's just say we're gonna use Printly, and I've got the link down below if you wanna sign up to Printly. And yes, I will let you know it is affiliate. It is an affiliate link, but I mean, that's, that's, that's how I get paid for these videos. All right, so from the 30th of Jan to let's say the 5th of Feb, and also by the way, it shouldn't take this long, you could do this in all a day, really. Um, let's do another arrow and do create in Printly. Okay, once we've created it, we can now set up ads. And again, I know I've said this so far, it's from the 20th of Jan to the 5th of Feb, but personally, I have done this all in one day. You can do this all in one day. I'm just spreading it out for you to make your life a bit easier. But you can kind of tell from this, this timeline that this isn't a business that takes three or four months. It's not like Amazon. This is more of a quick turnaround thing, right? It's only been 15 days or 16 days, and you've already got yourself a product on Printly or on Teespring, and you're going to start advertising straight away. So advertising. Let's move all of this away and create a new line, our advertising line, right? This is our advertising line. Okay, we are going to start the ads here on the 5th of Feb, all right? What kind of ads do we want to run? So we want to run one ad. We want to just start with one t-shirt, very simple, one ad. A $25 budget, okay? We want, in order to test that t-shirt, the limit should be $25 or 30 clicks to the website, okay? So, or 30 clicks to website, whichever one comes first, okay? Now, if it turns out that those clicks to the website cost you three or four dollars, then you could probably cancel that ad because it's not going to be profitable. The reason why we're testing with $25 is because we just want to see if that product has potential. What we want to do is we want to get at least one or two sales with that product, okay? We want to try and get one or two sales with that product. The aim for this is to see if your ad could become viral. You wanna really test out if it's getting shares, if it's getting comments, if it's getting likes, okay? You wanna create a, a, a PPE ad, which is a page post engagement ad, and then eventually, if that ad is showing virality, you can then create a conversions ad or a click to website ad. So this should take, maybe if your budget is $10 a day, or even if you do a $25 a day budget, this could take you one day, okay? So now let's say it's the 6th of Feb, Let's go back and look over this ad, see if we've got any sales and evaluate it, reevaluate it, right? So now let's have a look. Let's say the ad got us two sales, brilliant. We've now got two sales, we know it's got a few shares, we know it's got some virality behind it. Let's put a bit more money in it, okay? So let's put now, let's say we're doing $25 a day, let's put it up to $35 a day. You never wanna double it, okay? You wanna kind of like halve it, add half, so if you're doing, $25 a day, instead of adding another $25, you'll add $12.50. Now I know I've only added $10 here, but whatever, just rounding down. Okay, now you want to do the second day and you wanna make sure you're continuously profitable. If it turns out that your second day you don't get any sales, then cancel this ad, all right? Don't fall in love with this ad. Don't fall in love with this product. You cannot fall in love with your product. If it fails, that is your test. 
then go onto your new audience, your new design, your new t-shirt. And if it involves having a new Facebook page, then so be it. However, what I like to do is create one page. So if it's a dog niche, and then I will just cycle through a few dog uh, t-shirt ideas to see which one works and which one sticks. That way I'm not creating a new Facebook page every day. I'm not creating new things every single day. And I know it can be really frustrating, but on average, what I've seen and what I've done research on is that within your th first three to five t-shirts, one of them will hit, one of them will be successful. If you're brand new to this, it could be your first 10 t-shirts, one will hit. But if your budget is $25 per t-shirt, right? Okay, then you're looking at spending between $75 and $125, if it's three to five, $75 to $125 on one successful t-shirt, which is not so much considering that's all you have to pay to start this business up. As soon as you have a successful t-shirt, you're going to make far more than that $125. In fact, you can make thousands of dollars with it because it's so easy to scale. As soon as you have a successful t-shirt, you will create multiple ads to multiple audiences and throw a ton of money at it. You'll hugely scale it and you'll be getting hundreds of sales every single day. That is the idea of this business. So yes, you need to start with a bit of money, but it's not actually that much money. So let's move this over and say, let's just go over the money side of it, right? Okay, so you want a $25 budget per t-shirt okay 25 or 30 clicks now like i said if those 30 clicks you see are costing you too much and you don't make any money back then go back to 25 dollars right if it takes you three to five it's going to cost you 75 to 125 dollars to find one successful t to find one success okay now the reason why this is not such a big deal is because you can scale it massively like I just said so in my mind the timeline let's just quickly do an overview the timeline looks something like this all the way from the beginning to the end right I'll just do this quickly for you you've got today which is the 20th right you've got all the way to here which is going to be the 6th right now the 20th to the 25th you're going to uh, pick a design really okay so you've got the 25th the 25th to the, uh, I said, the 30th, you want to design it. The 30th to the 5th, you want to find audience and create that ad. And the 5th to the 6th, you want the ad to be running. And then on the 6th, you want to evaluate that ad, seeing if it works. If it doesn't work, then start again with a new T and then you're back here, okay? So if, it's t if we're talking about three to five uh, T-shirt to see which one becomes successful, and this is this is about seven this is about 17 days here okay that's 17 days then you're looking at maybe a month and a half right so oh dear the pen's gone haywire again month and a half to find a successful Tea. Now, like I said, you could do this in a few days. You could, if it was me, I would find the design on day one. I would do the design on day two. I would launch an ad on day three, and I would evaluate that. I don't know if evaluate is the right word, but whatever. I would look over that ad on day four, right? That's four day turnaround. That is technically what you could do, which means that this entire process, if it, you're designing three t-shirts, if it takes you three t-shirts to find a winning design, you're only looking at 12 days to create a successful design and start creating an income for yourself, right? And when I'm talking about income, I mean a lot of money because you can make a serious amount of money from this. Just make sure your profit margins are good. And I'm gonna discuss profit margins in a separate video. And I'm gonna discuss all of this in a lot more detail and without any of these mistakes in the full tutorial. So like I said, give this video a like, subscribe to the video so that you know when I bring out the full tutorial video. Thank you very much for watching and thank you for sticking along with this ridiculous craziness of this design that I've got going on here. This is the whole, this is the whole thing now and uh, yeah, it's quite crazy. But this is quite a cool pen. I might buy myself a really decent one because if you like these videos, let me know. If you like these kind of pen videos, I'm going to learn how to do it properly and uh, let me know in the comments down below and hopefully it could be good. Maybe I'll do it with an iPad or something because that makes a lot more sense to draw with an iPad and record that screen, I actually prefer that. So let me know in the comments down below if you like this kind of style of video, and hopefully I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Thank you so much for watching.